Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today is part two of So Like the Wind. So you guys might remember from last time that I've been sewing like crazy. My sojo has returned just in time for me to have to pack everything up and move away. <laughs> But um, it's actually been really great to feel really inspired again and rediscover some things and just feel good just digging in and, and getting all pruney in the work. So um, I have a couple things to show you. So I have four things to show you, plus some happy mail. Um, yes, we are going to do the giveaway, if you are wondering about that. The thing is, is that in order to do the giveaway, I do a montage of different videos of new or lesser known, perhaps, um, YouTubers. And so that takes a, a lot of work to kind of find them, record it, and then put it together in a montage. And I just haven't had time to do that. However, later this week, for sure, I'm going to put that up for you and I also did do the course with Christiane Bose of uh, Victory Patterns last weekend and it was super fun and she did let me take a little bit of video so I'm gonna be able to show you um, a little snippet of the class and it actually only ended up being me and someone else because there were a couple of cancellations so it was like a semi-private class for four hours with um, with Christiane and I'll tell you more about that next time but um, I've been sewing like the wind as we say and I have a couple things to show you. Now one of them I can't find because everything is everywhere. Um, but let's start with the fez pants. So I will put in a picture of the fez pants pattern and these are a uh, PDF download. It is available. You can purchase it on the website and they're just a pair of high-waisted roomy uh, wide leg pants with an elastic back. Very, very simple. There's no pocket, um, but they're very quick and they fit me really, really well. So what I did is I started off by doing a muslin and I did a muslin in pink linen that um, sort of like, it's almost like a beigey pink linen. Actually, I think I have it somewhere. One sec. Here it is, this is it. So you can see it's kind of like a putty pink, uh, real real linen. I think this is actually a sheet. And actually this was a gift from Elena from uh, Randomly Happy. And she spent the summer in Toronto last year and I took her to one of the um, sales at the textile museum. And she bought this and she made a pair of ninny culottes out of it. And when she left town, she said, do you want the rest of this? Cause I'm not gonna bring it back with me. And I said, for sure, I'll use it for something. Anyway, I used it for these shorts. So I'll put in a picture cause I did uh, take a picture. Um, of course, because it's a European pattern, it needs seam allowances and who forgot to put on the seam allowance. So when I first put them on, they were seriously um, snug, but I just took up the side pieces out or took out the side seams and did a smaller seam allowance and, and they fit. And also linen has a bit of a give once you wear it for a bit. Anyway, they're very, very comfy and I know that I'll wear them a lot and I have enough of this left over that I'm going to do something very simple with it either I don't know maybe like a, a, a t-shirt number a shirt number one or um, a morning glory top something really easy um, to go with it so even though I don't have those version that version to show you I can show you this version which is the same thing and I made this if you'll remember that grayish linen that I was going on and on about I thought it was a cotton linen blend and um, Michelle corrected me it's actually full linen but it's very soft for full linen and it doesn't crush as much as I expected so this is um, a pair that I just made yesterday I actually have to turn up the hem one more time um, whereas the pink ones I decided to put a cuff on they looked really cute with a cuff I left these ones long and I can always cuff them if I want to but I left these ones long because I do have a fair number of sort of shorter or shorts and so um, I wanted something just a little bit longer so I don't have a photo in these yet check my Instagram they'll be there my Instagram is just my name at Lisa Kish um, but yeah they turned out great now you know anytime you're doing an elastic back it's not gonna be the very best fit it's gonna be a little bunchy say la vie um, but they're so like this fabric is just as dreamy as I thought it would be it's dreamy to sew it's dreamy to wear so I was trying to figure out yesterday when I was cutting this I'm like hey, what am I gonna what am I gonna make out of this fabric how much I was very greedy I was like how many things can I get I think I had just less than three meters like two and a half kind of thing and I think there was a portion that was not that was sort of half cut out and she didn't count that so I've cut I cut these, these are done. I decided to also cut a Bondi dress, a uh, Tassudi, pardon me, Tassudi Bondi dress, which I've made once before, but I made it sort of 
out of another dress and so I wasn't making it from scratch so I didn't do the pockets and there's some other things I didn't do so I'm about two-thirds of the way through that you'll see that next time and I made another um, style arc uh, Georgia peplum top. So if you remember the top that I did last year, I'll try and put in a picture that had the French darts. Um, I'm doing another one of those because I wanted something that would that would go with this. And I find I have a lot of sort of longer tops. I wanted something that was more waist length and a little more um, uh, cropped. Okay, so the first one of the fez pants was done as a as a tester as a muslin to see on fit and if you'll remember that beautiful summer suiting that i had last time i made these and again they're hard to get in the in the shot so i'm going to put in a picture it's actually not even the greatest picture but they're very very comfortable and uh i actually added a pocket to this so i just drafted a pocket that i wanted that would kind of fit and you know kind of go just give me something to like throw my phone in or throw a uh, a tenor in if I'm going to the grocery store by credit card you know that kind of thing so there's only one it's asymmetrical and it's just it's just a little pocket um, but they turned out really cute and this summer suiting is so nice like it's just got a nice amount of stretch um, I might have cut them a hair too small but I are sorry too short when I, I cut a chunk because they're way too long and then I might have cut them a tiny bit too short, but I have some space. I can take the hem down if I feel that way. But you know, these are summer pants for summer. You know, it's, it's a very lightweight summer fabric. So I think it kind of makes sense to, you know, to leave it in something that's just a tiny bit shorter. So I made those and yeah, very, very pleased with that. And I have enough left over to make something else with it. I just not sure what yet. So another thing I did is I took one of my favorite tops that, so this is a, I think I've even shown you um, a version of this before and I remember saying, I'm not gonna bring it too close cause it's looking a little peaked, <laughs> a little ragged. Um, this is a, t is a J. Crew artist tee. Is it an artist tee? Painter tee, pardon me. J. Crew painter tee, which I think is like for the J. Crew um, outlet. I've had it for years and years. It's a very, I thought it had some linen in it, but it's just 100% cotton, but it's, it's just one of those soft t-shirts that you love and I'm someone because I'm always cold, even in the summer, I tend to sleep in long sleeves, um, but then I do sweat and so TMI, there were like sweat stains <laughs> underneath this, this top to the point that I was gonna get rid of it and there was a hole as well and so I decided instead to give it new life as a tank. So I just used a pattern that I already had to cut down the armhole and then I'm very proud of my binding. I'm very proud of my binding. I haven't done a great job binding um, um, binding knit armholes before and so this was already done. So it was it was just the the armholes. And yeah, it turned out it turned out really well. So I like the idea of giving new life to things and actually I have a few things on my table there that is the same thing. So you'll be seeing some of those too before I go. Okay, so lastly, I have this beautiful wrap dress made out of this gorgeous Safia Twill from Matchpoint Fabrics. And if you guys haven't seen before, I'll link you below. If you haven't gone to Matchpoint Fabrics and you haven't bought from them before, I have a $10 off coupon below, a referral code, um, that I would love for you guys to try her out. Um, I love supporting uh, small businesses and Michelle's amazing. And so this Safia Twill, and I know they have more of this in a couple different colors, really light and gauzy. I have to steam it because again, everything's been everywhere. Now, clearly you're not gonna be able to see anything from this, but let me show you the line drawing. So this is C and Sew, which I think is a Butterick. Yeah, Butterick 5299. And I'll put in a few pictures. Ah, it's very comfortable, very soft. I'm not gonna lie, the facings gave me issue. And I think they gave me issue partly because this fa fabric is so drapey that they wouldn't just kind of stay. They were kind of going all over the place. Um, and yes, I, I kept my white serger thread in. Um, and I've had to kind of tack down the, um, the facings ar around the neckline, around the armholes. I am gonna make this again, I think. I don't, actually, I don't think I'm gonna bring it with me, so I probably won't make it soon, but I would make it again. I just um, will probably do bias binding next time instead of the facings, or I'll use a heavier fabric. That said, this is gonna get a lot of wear in Spain. This is gonna get a lot of wear in Spain, and yeah, I feel, I feel good about it, even though it was more of a fight than I expected. 
Lastly, I want to share with you some happy mail. Oh, so my friend Devin Ventry, and she's Knitty McPurley on Instagram, and she's a brilliant knit knitwear pattern designer. So if you are also a knitter, I'm going to link up her Ravelry below so you can see some of her beautiful patterns. I bought two of her patterns now. I think I have a, a sweater pattern and a sock pattern. And um, she messaged me the other day, and she said, oh, a friend of mine picked out a whole bunch of vintage patterns for me, and some of them don't fit. Would you like them? And I said, yes, please, I would. <laughs> I would love them. And she was so sweet. She put, the, she put them in the mail express post so they would get here before um, we moved. So thank you, Devin. I, I really appreciate it. I had a bit of a, a, bit of a stressful day yesterday and um, to come home to the happy mail made me really happy. Happy mail, happy me. Okay, so here's one of my favorites. This is Simplicity 4222. And I'm loving this here. There's three different versions. It's um, out of a woven, although the pants you can make, and actually the pants are stirrup pants. I haven't seen those in a long time. If you look on here, there's, there's stirrups on the bottom. These are a lot of really beautiful 60s, 60s shapes. Love, so cute. Oh, just so super chic. Let's see here. Hopefully I get all the numbers in if anyone's curious. I love, look at that artwork. I could totally see making that. I love the way it brings in at the waist because that's often where I need a little more definition. And I love this day, day dress, this shirt day dress. And lastly, there's this one I think I might may, may, may try and sneak out, but I think it's definitely coming with me to Spain. Is this, it's actually for stretch. Although I'm gonna guess it's mostly for like, um, maybe for Ponty or something like that. I, I, I would think it needs a stable knit, but isn't that cute? Yeah, that's Butterick 3732. So thank you, Devin, I really, really appreciate it. Oh, and I got my hair cut. Finally got my hair cut. I haven't cut my hair in over a year and um, I desperately needed it, especially before we leave. So it's always weird getting used to a new haircut, even though it's Let's face it, it's pretty much the same hair, but um, I'm kind of getting used to it. Anyway, I think that's it for today, you guys. I will be back later in the week. I will have more sewing. I will. There will be a third installment of Sewing Like the Wind, and um, and we're we're now. I think we're 20. Like we're less than three weeks away from moving out of our house. Mm. I hope wherever you are, the sun is shining, and you are getting some good sewing done. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.